ATI's Canverter Configuration Tool uses DBC or UEF databases for easy configuration. When creating a new configuration, pins that are not yet configured will display as red. Each pin has a label which is displayed when users hover over the pin. This includes items such as power ground, PWM output, CAN signals, and more. To set the CAN bitrate, click on one of the CAN pins and select the desired bitrate for your CAN bus. Users can run CANverter in silent mode, but this action disables any CAN transmissions, causing analog and digital input to no longer function. Pins can also be configured from the Device menu. Click Device, Configure, and choose your channel. This will bring up the same property grid as before. The easiest way to configure a CANverter is by opening a DVC file. After opening a DVC file, lists of signals will be displayed. Users can then drag and drop signals to the desired pin, which will change the pin output. From there, the CANverter configuration tool makes it easy to configure additional parameters. In this example, we will change the mode to analog output. Here you can see the time is now grayed out. This is because the analog output setting is based on the CAN data coming in. Therefore, the CANverter configuration tool automatically converts it to analog voltage. Setting up digital inputs and outputs work in a similar fashion as the previous example. The CANverter configuration tool has a PWM output, but there is no PWM input. Users can still drag a signal onto a pin, prompting the configuration tool to ask which type of signal you'd like. This will output a frequency based on the CAN messages coming in. Once the pins are configured, save the configuration file. To download the configuration file to the CANverter, go to Serial Port and select the communication port the CANverter is on, then hit Refresh. Once the configuration tool has confirmed the CANverter is ready, press Download. A prompt will appear asking you to confirm that you'd like to overwrite the configuration in the CANverter. Once this download is complete, the configuration is flashed to the CANverter and will operate as configured. If a user would like to know what's in a CANverter, but doesn't have access to the configuration file, users can load the configuration software, connect to the CANverter, and hit Upload. Please note there will be no DVC reference, but users can still see the configuration of the pins.